Christ for the World Missions welcomes you to Manifest God. The global church and movement founded by the one and only Dr. Baruch Gideon Opal and Bishop Queen. Join us from wherever you are in the world for powerful teachings, powerful praises, powerful worship, and most importantly, the Word of God. Join us to manifest God with Christ for the World Missions, touching the world one heart at a time. Find shelter in the Secret Place prayer platform. This is Manifest God. Shalom. Welcome to Manifest God TV, the Secret Place prayer platform. Today I'm here, it's Bishop Queen, and we bring you greetings. Before we start, let's share a quick word of prayer. Father God, we just want to thank you and bless you for today. Thank you for all that you are doing. We thank you for a new year, another year that you have graced us with. I commit to God this moment in your hands, Holy Spirit, I pray that, Lord, you will move before we speak. And I pray for the audience that, Lord God, your power will touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Lord, salvation will spring forth. Lord God, healing will spring forth. Lord God, deliverance will spring forth. Father God, if there is any need in the house, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. And shalom, shalom again. Glory be to God. Today, this week, uh, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I will be by myself because um, Dr. Baruch, the visionary for this platform, is not available. So I am stepping in and um we'll be so we will turn this as a as a, a a teaching uh that we'll be hearing the word of god and um we believe that um your life will not be the same my life will also not be the same so uh he sends his love and his greetings then let us continue to pray for god's grace and peace to be upon his life glory be to god and as we always say, when you find something that is good, don't keep it to yourself. Most of the time we say, keep the faith, keep the faith. It's not just about keeping it, but it's about spreading the gospel. It's about sharing our faith. Glory be to God. So don't keep it to yourself. Call a friend to call a friend and ask them to join in to also be a blessing. Glory be to God. And we say a happy, happy new year is our first um, telecast for the year. So we want to say a big happy new year. We believe that your Christmas was great. And we thank God, child of God, that's um, the, the faithfulness of God. A lot of people have did not see uh, the new year. They wish they could see the new year, but they didn't. But so far as you and I, we have made it. Know this thing, that you and I, we are more than conquerors. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's given us the victory, so we give him praise. So this um, time, we are going to talk on the power of preparation. Glory be to God. The power of preparation. I believe that this is the time, this is the season, as we have crossed over from 2021 to another year 2022 of double blessings of double anointing of of the things that we are having we are getting grounded and rooted in the things of god so we thank god um for that and as we have entered into this new year 
you and I must prepare. Glory be to God. We have to prepare ourselves in everything that we do. Glory be to God. So we are looking at the power of preparation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And now I have here that everyone enjoys the finished product. Everyone enjoys the finished product. You ladies or even some men, you will bear with me that if you want to prepare a meal, uh, it takes you probably 30 minutes to eat the, the dish itself, eat the meal. But then when it comes to preparation, it takes quite some time for us to prepare, you know, go to the shop, get all the ingredients, come home, come and prepare them. Some of them you have to put them in the fridge as you have marinated either the fish or the meat or the chicken or the veg or whatever you're cooking. You wait for about maybe 30 minutes and then put it in. The process, the preparation process takes long. But then when you finish and a meal, dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever you're cooking is ready, it takes a short time to just finish the food and you enjoy. So we are talking about power of preparation. As we have um, entered into a new year, this is the time that you take stock. If you haven't done that already, you will take stock and prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the blessings that God is about to give to you. Preparation is key. Prepare yourself for the breakthrough. Prepare, prepare yourself for that exam that you're going to take. Prepare yourself for the vision that God has given to you. So these are the things that we will be looking at. Glory be to God to um, ensure that we are preparing ourselves. So I've said here that we prepare our homes we, we we prepare uh, um, our jobs. If you are going for an, a job interview, you prepare yourself. A man uh, that I know many years ago was going for an interview for a job. And instead of him preparing himself <clears throat> and studying and looking at the company that's is employing him where the things that they do and see what he can do to have impact in the company. What did he do? He didn't prepare. What did he say? He said the Holy Spirit says when he goes and uh, they're going to ask him one or two questions and that's it. Guess what? When he went, they were asking him, have you check this online, what are some of the key things that we do and how can you help us? He was just there saying, oh, Holy Spirit, you didn't help me. No, we have to prepare. When we prepare and we go, the Holy Spirit, we have something in us. But if you have an empty head, there is nothing in the head. What is the Holy Spirit going to remind you of? So, People of God, this is the time that as children of God, we don't have to, everything put it on the spirit. The spirit of God is here to help us. But at the same time, you and I, we have to do our responsibility. Glory be to God. We need to, we have a duty. We have a responsibility. You have an exam coming. You have to prepare yourself. How do you prepare? You have to study. Before I came here, I knew that I'm coming to give the word of God. I have to spend time. I have to look at what I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to me. What is he talking about? I won't just come and say, I'm coming to speak the word of God. So Holy Spirit, I've come. Speak. Yes, there are times that we have prepared a message but then this is how the Holy Spirit wants it. And he will give you a different direction. That's different. But you don't do that all the time. Because the Bible itself wants us to do what? To prepare. Glory be to God. So as we have entered into 
another year this year is a special year this year is full of great things it's full of good things but it, it, it depends on you and i how we will prepare ourselves and as we prepare ourselves and we are ready anytime we are ready you know our lord jesus christ i think we'll be we'll be talking about that so let me spare that and let me go um follow my notes because we it's a teaching now i'm not trying to preach i'm just trying to break what we are talking about so if i don't finish uh, um this week next week by his grace we'll carry on We'll carry on until we get into the nitty gritty of it to understand that we need to prepare. As people, as children of God, we need to prepare. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. I said that before we see the finished products, we should remember that there is a starting point and the key element is preparation. There is always a starting point. You have to start somewhere. And that key element that we are talking about is preparation. So if you want good things, child of God, this year, if you want good things to happen to you, if you want to see great miracles, if you want to see the favor of God upon your life, if you want to see uh, your your uh, prayers answered, if you want to see things you know, happy. We don't have to be doing the same old things that we've been doing. Change it. If it's not working, then it means that there's something that we are not doing right. Okay? If it's not working, it means there's something that we are not doing right. So we need to change it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need to change it. Just bear with me one moment. My phone is not on silent. Apologies. I apologize. Glory be to God. So we need to make sure that we are always, always prepared in whatever we're going to do. Hallelujah. So we want great answers. We need to. How do you prepare? You prepare yourself. You prepare your mind. You prepare your heart. So we'll be going deep into it. You prepare your mind. You prepare your heart. And you are ready for it. And the things that we need to do to get us ready we have to do that and we need to focus glory be to god we have to focus and have that set mind that i have this um, in front of me i have to focus glory be to god and i will do that glory be to god I've put here that every day thousands of cars go around thousands of airplanes thousands of trains things that we use are daily things they we see them in manifestation because of preparation before you start driving you can't just be on, uh, in, uh, by the wheel and say i'm driving you have to prepare yourself you have to start learning how to drive and when you learn how to drive they have to test you they have to see uh, that you are capable so that when you get get on the road you will not be uh, um um hitting people but you know the rules so you are being tested and then when you pass you get happy why because you yourself you have that confidence yes i i i went for the driving and i passed so we see all these things happening around us the key behind is preparation and this year, it is my prayer that you and I will be determined that we will prepare ourselves. If it is in, in preparation, preparation needs you to study, child of God, do it. If the preparation needs you to pray, do it. If the preparation needs you to fast, do it whatever it takes for you to prepare the tasks in front of you that all the tasks ahead of us we have to do it hallelujah and with the spirit and with the help of the holy spirit we can do it we don't have to be passive we have to be proactive in this 
by preparing. Glory be to God. So now, whilst we have talked about preparation, I'm, I'm giving you as the introduction. Preparation, preparation, as I'm saying. Preparation, preparation, preparation is key. It's key to success. Glory be to God. It's key to success if you don't prepare. There are a lot of people, for instance, a, a, a student, and there's a, this story on a, a student who uh, I think is, is biology and um, he has prepared himself, but he has studied the wrong subject. Well, his subject that he studied it didn't come in the exam. He studied about a, a, a tree. And when he went on the exam, they said he should, uh, uh, what is a hen? He should talk about hens and, uh, and the eggs and the chickens and stuff. What what was happening? He didn't prepare himself for fully for the exam. He chose what he wanted, but then what he wanted didn't come in the exam. Eventually, what had, what did he have to do? He just have to say uh, what is a hen, and he described the hen a little bit, and he says hen. No, you find the hen normally uh, uh, laying the eggs under the tree or sitting under the tree. One may ask what is a tree and started describing the tree what the tree the roots the stems the leaves and everything getting into detail talking about the tree his paper is filled it left and right front and back when the uh, uh, results came do you think he will pass no was he prepared? Do you think that that student was really prepared? He wasn't. He was prepared for something else. That is why we need focus in preparation. He was prepared for something else. So when he opened the exam questions and he saw that a different question has come from what he had studied, he's not ready. And readiness, when we are ready, it causes us to be successful. When we are prepared and we are ready for the for things to happen, you are prepared and you are and and you meet the opportunity. That is why we say that uh, uh, opportunity and and preparation. When it meets together, you have success. When you have prepared yourself and you know your stuff, you know what you're going to do. And you, the opportunity happens, it becomes you become successful. But then, if you haven't prepared yourself, and you get the opportunity, the opportunity will pass you by. It will go to somebody else who is prepared. So preparation is key as children of God. You are watching me, and you are thinking, "What's this lady talking about preparation?" I know all about preparation. We about preparation but are we really prepared are we prepared our lord is gone he's coming he's coming soon we are seeing a whole lot of things that is happening around us is giving us the signs right is giving us the signs that we have to be prepared because he says that he will come like a thief in the night where we are not expecting but those who are ready when he comes, whether you are expecting him or you are not expecting him, you're already ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're going to look at this scripture, uh, um, the definition of preparation. But before we do that, um, we will look at what preparation is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says preparation is a process of getting ready for something. Hallelujah. Preparation is what? Getting ready for something. What are you getting ready for? This year, the Lord has opened new doors, new avenues. He's giving you double blessings, double anointing, double favor. He's establishing you in a whatever you're doing. But you have to find something to do and you have to find something to prepare for. What are you preparing for? If, it, if it's a breakthrough, prepare yourself for the breakthrough. And breakthrough comes where you are a businesswoman or you are somebody who is an entrepreneur. You are starting your business 
afresh you have your plan you have your business plan you have things ready you've got your your stuff ready you know what you're talking about you know the pros and cons of your business how is it going to make impact in 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 the in your generation what it what it is what's your vision when you are prepared and somebody just meets you and say okay show me your plan what have you got and you say i've got this i've got it, i've got it. i say oh, okay you got a contract somebody else who hasn't done anything he says i'm now i, I was waiting for the opportunity no Oppor opportunity doesn't wait for uh, uh people who are not ready the opportunity is there for taking so when you are ready, you just grab it. You just take it. Glory be to God. So it is a process of getting ready. It's a process. It's not an instant thing. Like I gave the example of, as common example of preparing our meals. It's, it's a process. We go through the process. Glory be to God. So that is what we are looking at. Preparation is a process of getting ready for something. I said life requires preparation. And it is in the preparation that determines, listen, child of God, life requires preparation. Okay? In this life that we are in, it requires us everything. Just look back it's a very common thing that we are doing and sometimes we do it either consciously or unconsciously but it is something that we don't have to take for granted we have to be aware of it so as he's saying life requires preparation it is in the preparation that determines whether we will make it or not that's the fact it is through the preparation that will determine, am I going to make it or not? The example I gave with the student who, he wasn't fully prepared. He studied for one thing and another thing came. And that is now going to determine whether he's going to pass his exams or not. I have one of my children who is taking or was taking an exam. He's, she's been taking it. And taking it year by after year, year after year, it's a 12-hour 12, 12 exam in two days. A day is six hours, a whole working day, six hours, next day. And is is a, um, a, a, a different country's uh, uh, studies. But then this year, she changed the tactics. She changed the strategy. God gave her the plan that you need to prepare, child of God. I'm, I'm saying this probably maybe in, in, in a very calm way, but I pray that the anointing of God that is flowing will cause you to know that this is a serious matter. In life, preparation is very, very important. So this uh, daughter of ours, it, it, normally they take the exam, Three, uh, uh, three months, they do their studies and preparation, everything, and go and sit the exams. He, she has been studying the exam for three months every time, three months every time. And every time when she goes, it's like, oh, I'm, she, I'm a little bit short of, a little bit short of. A little bit short of, your name will not be on the list. You are short of it because the preparation is not enough. But then this year, something changed she said okay i've seen that i'm using three months to prepare now i'm going to double and even more so what did she do she started preparing herself far ahead far ahead so by the time even the normal three months came for uh studies to begin she has read through all her notes once and she's now going twice and she's even going three times whilst others are just starting once she had gone twice and the preparation that she prepared she was prepared she was focused she took away all distractions around her these are some of the things that we have to do. We have to be focused and take away distractions because child of God, 
friends are there and um, things that uh, entertain us they are always there but once you have a vision once you have an aim we have to focus on what we are doing and take away all those distractions until we have gotten the results that we are looking for. We are not looking elsewhere. Glory be to God. And guess what? Today, to God be all the glory, when she sat the exams, what happened? She passed. Hallelujah. She passed with flying colors. And now, how we call her what? Esqua. <laughs> and she's excited and doing things. And now the key elements and the things that she has learned, she's teaching others. She is showing others that this is key. So life requires preparation. In it, in it is the preparation that determines whether we will make it or not. This year, child of God, be determined that I am making it. I will make it. But in that determination, be determined also that you will prepare yourself. Glory be to God. As we are speaking or as you are hearing me, what are you preparing for? What is the goal in front of you? What do you have in front of you? What do you want to achieve? Some of us is spiritual. We want to, spiritually, we want to grow. Spiritually, we want to be giant. Spiritually, we want to be able to shift from one level to the other. We have to prepare ourselves. Glory be to God. We have to prepare ourselves. Things that uh, uh, does not pertain to the things of the spirit, we, we will not entertain it. We will do things that will help us spiritually. Those are the things that we will do to prepare us spiritually to be able to, because most of us, child of God, most of us, the Holy Spirit that lives in us, he speaks to us daily. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit speaks to us daily. But because we are not prepared or we haven't prepared ourselves and we haven't tuned ourselves to hear him. When, we, when he speaks to us, we don't hear him. But what do we do? We rather want to run to go and see man. We rather want to run and go and see a man to prophesy to us. We rather want to go and see a man to tell us what, what is God saying. Man of God, what is God saying? Woman of God, what is God saying? Meanwhile, God is speaking to us all the time. Why? Because we are not, we are not focusing. We are not prepared. We, are not, we haven't trained ourselves. Preparation trains you. It equips you. It puts you to in, 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 a, in a different level. Glory be to God. It shifts you to a different level. And your confidence, when you yourself, you stand and you are decreeing and declaring what you have studied and what you have prepared for, it comes out excellent. Glory be to God. 2022, child of God, is a special year. And if the Lord has given us the ability to see 2022, we don't have to joke with it. Amen. If we have done so many, whatever we do, we need to take stock, take stock and check your life back. What have I been doing? Has it been progressive? If it has been progressive, great. Then continue to do what you are doing and even doing more. Because the more we do it, the more we get the blessings. But then if you, have, you take the stock and you see that I need to change things. You have to then take that stock and move forward, change things around. Glory be to God and begin to prepare yourself. Preparation is key. It det that determines whether you are going to make it or not. We are going to take a quick break and we will come back to you shortly. God bless you. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called 
according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Romans 8, 28 to 29. This is Manifest God. Shalom. Welcome back. You are watching Manifest God TV, the secret place prayer platform, and this is Bishop Queen. And we are talking about the power of preparation, how this year you and I should be determined to prepare. As we prepare ourselves, we will see success in our lives, that in everything that we are doing, in word and in deed, let us prepare ourselves. Glory be to God. So we have just looked at the definition of preparation. And I'm saying that we don't have to take it for granted because a lot of times we, we become so familiar with the things that are around us that we don't even pay attention to it. But these are the things that pushes us forward, that takes us forward. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So now we need to start saying the things that we are preparing for. Hallelujah. Say what you are preparing for. That I'm prepared. If you want to go into marriage, you have to prepare yourself. Glory be to God. You can't just get up and say, I've, I've found a woman, so I'm getting married. Or I've found a man, so I'm getting married. You have to prepare yourself so that when you get into the marriage, you know you're left from your right. Preparation will bring success in the marriage. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And as we have, I've also put here that nothing just happened. We have to prepare for it. Child of God is no. You see, the world says there's a big bang. That's how the world was created. That's a lie. The world didn't just happen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they prepared themselves to form the world, to shape the world. And because it, when you see even how we as men, as human, we were created, somebody took their time. They prepared themselves to create everything that we are seeing around. It didn't just happen, bam. So likewise, same way, nothing just happens. You're not just there, you say, it will, it will happen. No, it doesn't happen like that. We have to prepare ourselves. So we need to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. But preparation is not easy. If it's easy, everyone will prepare. That is where we see the difference. Preparation is not easy because it's taking you to work. Work at what you are looking for. Work towards your vision. Work towards your goal. Work towards the things that you are looking for. And, and if you have to change your language, the other time I was talking about us try, uh, um, getting to speak a new language, speak a new language, you have to prepare yourself. Glory be to God. So these are the things. It doesn't come easy, but with determination and with focus as we are preparing bit by bit, every day you progress in the preparation every day you progress glory be to god so that is what we are looking at now preparation needs focus and determination we need to be focused and we have to also be determined we will go into it um in 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 details and i said note here champions don't become champions in the ring or in their field of sports champions don't just become champions in the ring or in the field of their sports. They don't just, it does, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't just happen, <laughs> child of God. Especially we believers, we always think things will just happen. No, 
we have to prepare ourselves get your mindset get it set especially you are studying put put knowledge in your head read read the book read things and as you are reading when you get to a time where once you it you have read it and you say holy spirit i can't remember he will remind you he will bring you bring you into remembrance but if there is nothing there at all what is the holy spirit going to do for you there is nothing there glory be to god so champions don't just become champions in the ring or in the field of their sports they are recognized in the ring or in the field of their sports but becoming a winner or a champion happens in their daily preparation glory be to god yes they are recognized as yes this is the champion yes this is the winner yes this this guy is a is a is a, is a world-class champion or, or whatever they are as we see them as legends or heroes we recognize them in their field or in in their sports or whatever they are doing but that is not where it started from the main start is in their daily preparation and so are we as children of god in our daily walk with the lord in our daily preparation that we are having a personal relationship with the lord daily we are preparing ourselves if it is a, a spiritual encounter that you are looking for child of god you are looking for spiritual encounter you want to hear the voice of god but you are far away from him you are not even talking to him you are not preparing you just get up and you just go and you are doing things so opposite to what will bring you closer to god are you preparing yourself no that is not preparation so preparation is key glory be to god so we see all these people doing these things is not in the ring the things that they have prepared for when the time comes it, it manifests itself when you are prepared and you go manifestation so preparation brings what manifestation but if you are not prepared well you will manifest but then it will bring you a different result so it's not even just manifestation it's either a successful manifestation or a manifestation that will not bring you success and this year we are not looking for that you and i must be determined that i'm going higher glory be to god i'm going higher you are a young child you are you are uh, uh, um, 40 years you are 50 years and you want to move forward in your career prepare yourself glory be to god prepare yourself don't say it's too late there is nothing too late once we prepare ourselves gradually and you keep yourself and you 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 keep in shape and you keep moving forward you will get there amen glory be to god so we are going to read the book of john because i've talked i've i'm trying this is a teaching as i've said i don't want to rush it i want to make sure that we are preparing ourselves in this year uh, we prepare ourselves and we see the hand of God. It was it will happen. Glory be to God. I've told you about our daughter's testimony. The preparation wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. But now come and see her. She has that vim and confidence. And she's now teaching people because she has prepared. The preparation has really shaped her. And she knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. There is nothing that you will bring to her that she will not be able to answer. Why? Because she has gone in deeper and deeper and deeper and knows all the loopholes, knows everything. And she's teaching people now to pass the uniform bar exam. It is not cheap. But what? She, it was a daily, daily, daily tax. The results are rewarding child of god when we prepare when we prepare the the results are rewarding so let's put all things aside and that is why focus is very important let's put everything aside 
and let's focus. We're going to read the book of John, John 14, 1, 2, 3, then we'll see something. So Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If there were not so, would I have would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. Hallelujah. This Jesus said how many years now? Many years, over 2,000 years ago, when he told his disciples that he's going and he's going, the, the main focus of his going is to do what? Is to prepare. Hallelujah. Is to prepare a place for us. Child of God, there is a place waiting for us that Jesus has gone to prepare. So he's telling us that even if our Lord Jesus himself knows that preparation is key. He's gone. He's going to prepare. He hasn't, it's not ready. That's why he hasn't come. The place he's going to prepare. As soon as he's ready, he will come. Who knows he's going to come tomorrow? Who knows he's going to come next year? So, we must also do what? Prepare ourselves. He's telling us, that he's going to prepare. So it tells us that even Jesus himself, if he prepares himself or he's gone to prepare himself, how much more you and I, we have to do what? We have to prepare ourselves. This scripture shows how vital preparation is. Amen. It's vital how preparation is. Jesus is not back because he is preparing a place for you and I. Hallelujah. So, child of God watching, know that this year, I, I just want to put it in you. I want to put it in you, put it in your family, put it in your children, that we have to prepare. And I am preparing myself. Everything that I'm doing, I want to prepare. Prepare yourself and know your stuff. And when you meet the any situation, even the Bible tells us that we should study. Study comes with preparation. As you are studying, you are preparing yourself so that you'll be a workman that will not be ashamed. When you are prepared, you are not ashamed. When you are prepared and you know your stuff, when they ask you, you are able to answer. But you don't know because you haven't prepared. So we are seeing the importance of preparation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And preparation brings readiness and confidence. Whilst we are preparing, whilst we are prepared, you know your stuff. It brings readiness and confidence. Glory be to God. We are going to read a scripture. I'm, I'm looking at my time. And I'm seeing that the time is, is really going, but this is teaching. So as I said, if we don't finish this week, next week, by his grace, we will carry on. So I'm going to introduce this scripture and um, maybe we will talk about it. If not next week, by his grace, we will go over it. So we're going to read the book of Matthew, Matthew 25, 1 to 13. So then the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 bridesmaids who took the alarms and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five who were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for the alarms, but the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, child of God, when you are not expecting, when we are not expecting, we are not, we, they weren't expecting any delay from the bridegroom, but it happened. So 
at midnight when they were roused by a shout look the bridegroom is coming come out and meet him all the bridesmaids got up and prepared that's the key word they prepared their lamps hallelujah they prepared their lamps then the five foolish one asked the others please Give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, we don't have enough for all of us. Go to the, to the shop and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready, preparation brings readiness so those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast marriage feast they are going to enjoy themselves preparation when you prepare and it gets you into readiness it brings you fulfillment hallelujah it brings you fulfillment because it's saying here that so those who were ready because they were prepared they were ready and because they were ready they were able to get into the marriage feast it's feasting they are going to eat and enjoy that's how preparation shapes us that is the results of preparation that is why earlier on I said, when you are prepared and then you meet the opportunity, these 10 virgins, the wise ones, they were prepared. And when the opportunity came that the bridegroom is coming, he delayed, but he is coming. Sometimes the things we are preparing for and waiting for might seem to be delaying. Don't stop preparing. Glory be to God. Don't give up. Don't lose hope and say, I've been preparing all this while. Maybe you are preparing for marriage. Maybe you are pre preparing for your breakthrough. Maybe you are preparing for that miracle. Don't give up. Glory be to God. Don't give up. Carry on preparing. Focus. Don't lose, don't lose focus. Prepare. Because we are, we are taking all these key, key elements. They were prepared. And because they were prepared, they had more oil. And because they had more oil, they were ready to go with the bridegroom. And because they were ready to go with the bridegroom, now they are going to enjoy the, 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 the work of their labor. They're going to enjoy the readiness, the preparation that they have prepared all this while. Preparation brings enjoyment. Preparation brings fulfillment. Glory be to God. Then you see that the desires on your heart, whatever you have worked hard for so many years that you have prepared for, you see it come in manifestation. I can't thank God enough for what he, he did for um, um, uh, our daughter. But she put in a lot of effort and made sure that she, her mind and everything was focused in it. That's the way we prepare, child of God. And once we prepare, we, as children of God, we always have a head start. We have, we have the advantage over those who don't have such privilege. So you have prepared. And then the Holy Spirit is also with you. He gives you some, some, some special grace to move ahead. But when we don't prepare, and the unbeliever has prepared, what do you think will happen? The Holy Spirit is a fair God. You haven't prepared. So what is he going to use you for? You must prepare. But when you are prepared, fully prepared, and the other one too is fully prepared. You have the advantage over that person because now the Spirit of God is going to demonstrate the preparation that you have prepared. He is going to demonstrate it to turn it around 
for your good. Glory be to God. So you always, we always have edge over the unbeliever. We always have that edge because the Holy Spirit is with us. But if we don't do so, you're not going to see it. So these verges, the ones that were prepared were, and they were ready, when the bridegroom came, they were able to go in with the bridegroom and they were able to enjoy the bridegroom to the full. Hallelujah. So now let's continue. It says, but while they were gone, that's verse 10, whilst they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. The opportunity that came at that time was that they were all ready. They were prepared and they were ready to go to have success. But when that opportunity came and they were not available, what happened? The door shut. It is my prayer that this year you will not allow any door of opportunity to pass you by due to lack of preparation. You will not allow any door of opportunity to pass you by because you have been prepared, because you are not ready. Child of God, this is a key message. It's difficult, it's hard because you have to put in work. But that is, that, that is the essence of life. You and I must work. You and I must work. Even Jesus, when he came, he says, I came to do my father's business. You have a business to fulfill. You have a work to do. We, we must uh, uh, um, make all efforts to make sure. And you see, whilst we have that spirit of preparation, it, it affects, it, it affects uh, our children, our loved ones, our family, the people around us. It affects them because they can see that you are working hard. They will also work hard. You are preparing. So we know, we have that, that we are preparing to make sure that this miracle, there's a miracle set for me. I need to be prepared. Glory be to God. So we don't have to lay back and just say the Holy Spirit is going to do for me. Yes, the Holy Spirit will do for you, but you have to prepare yourself. Glory be to God. You have to sell your business plan. You know, you have to know where you are going. Because if you haven't prepared, how will you know where he's going to land you? And when, when people are not prepared and you give them something, they will not know how to handle it. You cannot give a, a precious gift to somebody who don't know how to uh, um, steer the, the, the car. How can you buy a car for someone who can't drive it? When you give a gift to somebody, you want that person to enjoy that gift. Glory be to God. I am seeing my time, but it says the door was shut. We will stop here, child of God, and we are... Um, well, I'm going to pray with you and also use this opportunity to um, ask anyone who is watching and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, that this is a privilege that we have, that you will accept him. But next week, by his grace, we will come back and discuss on this same scripture that we have read so that you and I we will see, we will, we will move, shift our, our focus from just laying back and allowing the Holy Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit to do things for us, instead of us also doing and allowing the Holy Spirit to push us forward. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you and I bless you. Thank you for your word today. I pray for someone, anyone watching, oh God, the Lord needs strength. I pray that you will strengthen us in the mighty name of Jesus. In this year, in this new year, as we have taken stock, as you are talking to us, you want us to move forward and manifest you everywhere we go. Therefore, you are teaching us to prepare because, Lord, you yourself, you have gone to prepare 
prepare a place for us. I pray that the, the, your spirit will fall upon us. The spirit of determination and focus will fall upon us so that in Jesus' mighty name, oh, this year, we will see, Lord God, oh, great things, Lord, in our lives and in the lives of our families. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And at this moment, I just want you to just close your eyes and say this prayer after me in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and you rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and I ask you to come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. And I take you as my Lord forever in Jesus' mighty name. Child of God, if you have, I'm calling you child of God because this is just a simple prayer that when you pray, you have become part of the family. If you have done so, check the numbers on the screen, contact us and we will help you to increase and improve and also prepare and become somebody greater in the kingdom glory be to god so uh for tonight for today this is where we will end and we will see you again next week by his grace god richly bless you shalom shalom Christ for the World Missions welcomes you to Manifest God. The global church and movement founded by the one and only Dr. Baruch Gideon Epau and Bishop Queen. Join us from wherever you are in the world for powerful teachings, powerful praises, Powerful worship, and most importantly, the Word of God. Join us to manifest God with Christ for the World Missions, touching the world one heart at a time. Find shelter in the Secret Place prayer platform. This is Manifest God.